So we've got a campus workshop for ESHRA coming up in Budapest, early October. Uh, tell us what's excited about that, that meeting. Something like it I can't ever recall seeing, in part because of the diversity of topics. Topics that we think will appeal to a wide audience, a wide audience of different stakeholders. So who should come to that meeting? Because it's a very different type of meeting in that way. Everyone, and I'm not being cheeky, is that because this program is so unique and it gathers together key opinion leaders from all the different areas that are a part of social economics, medical economics, healthcare economics, um, policy makers, that if people have any stake in those areas, that it would be beneficial to them to come and learn and to participate and also to take the message away and deliver it to their public. What, what are the really key deliverables that they're going to take, take forward? The deliverables <laughs> is an action plan that they can go home. For example, if I'm a scientist and I'm at this program, I'm going to learn from it in the context of there are all of these gaps in our scientific knowledge about male reproductive health, about its connection with somatic health. What can I do that I can, that I'm doing in my lab presently, that I can expand upon if I have appropriate funding and how I can go about to get that funding? That's just one example. So any further comments or, or or points you want to pass on to sort of people who think in there saying, yeah, Budapest, early October, I want to go. What would be your nutshell thing to tell? The nutshell thing to tell everyone is that men's health is a woman's health is family's health. We have to change that men die younger and live longer with disease. And there are reasons for that, and we need to understand better why that is and to make a change. So please, join us either virtually or in person in Budapest at the beginning of October. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.